Hi everyone, so today I'm doing a much requested video and it's hair care. Um, I've had loads of questions about this and I just thought I'd, I've got actually quite a massive hair care routine which I didn't realise just quite how massive it was until I started putting all my products together and it really is quite something. So I'm just going to get onto it because this could be quite a long video. So basically with my washing and conditioning, I do the um, condition wash condition technique because I have really dry hair so my ends get really dry if I only shampoo and condition and this was something I only really found out about a year, a year and a half ago really. So what I do is I put conditioner just on the ends to kind of maintain that and stop the shampoo stripping away any natural oils and then I shampoo my roots and just to kind of let it all run off and then the conditioner kind of comes off with the shampoo and then I do a full condition from root to tips and the products that I use I'm going to just go through now. A while back you might have noticed that I went on a massive Herbal Essences spree when it was all half price when they brought in the new packaging and everything so I've been using that most of the time probably for the last three to four months and I have been loving it and I've mainly been using the Hello Hydration, it's a little bit shiny there, Hello Hydration Moisture Shine Conditioner, that's my initial condition. Then I use the Herbal Essences Hello Hydration Shampoo and that's pretty much empty now which I'm really sad about. And then use that again and that's kind of my general hair washing. And once a week I will do the same with these two and then for the final condition I'll use a mask and I was using the Hello Hydration one again and love this and then also I use the um, Herbal Essences Beautiful Ends I've talked about all of these previously in a video I think but now that I've been using them to three to four months I feel like I can really recommend them to you guys and honestly these these are amazing and for the price like, I'm not one to spend loads of money on shampoo and conditioner I just um, whatever's on offer is what I tend to get. They do last quite a while, I use this one's nearly finished. I use them, you know, once a week. I wash my hair probably twice or three times a week, no more than that. If I feel like my roots are starting to get a little bit greasy, I'll put on um, a bit of dry shampoo. So I personally love the Batiste Coloured because the normal ones are really white and powdery on my hair, which is very, very dark. Um, but I, this is the black one and I'm finding it really hard to find this, I don't know whether they've stopped doing it. In Boots you can get the um, a hint of colour, which is like dark and deep brown, but that's kind of my backup if, if this is the last one I'm going to get of these. And I love these and what I do is I put them on the night before so they're not too powdery when I get up in the morning so they've been absorbed into my scalp a little bit. But I'll probably only do this for about one day and then I'll wash it that night um, just because if I need to put this on it's kind of a sign that I need to wash my hair. Also um, I do kind of a treatment once, probably want to do it once every couple of weeks but realistically I don't have find the time so it's more like once a month and I I use this Amla Indian hair oil and it's um, kind of my mum's always used this on my hair as I was growing up and it, yeah, it kind of reminds me of my childhood a little bit. And basically it's just an amazing hair oil. It's nice to kind of have this traditional kind of treatment. Um, but I think it'll be great for any kind of hair. It's, you know, I wouldn't say it's just for Indian people to use. I'd say it's for anyone to use. And I bought this from a Tesco, which is kind of in an Indian area. So if you go to an area where there are a few more different ethnicities, you might find this there. There was loads of different bits and bobs for like Afro-Caribbean hair and all sorts so it was only £2.67 for this bottle and normally I do I've tried a few other hair oils as well over over the years and I just find it just gets absorbed into your scalp and you end up using like half a bottle and you just don't really know where it goes and then I put my head on the pillow I put towel I, I like to sleep with this treatment on so I put a towel over my pillow and then it like drenches right through into my pillow and it doesn't stay in my hair and I don't know, it was just a little bit of a disaster. But this one, it kind of like, I only used that much on all of my hair and I literally did a, a really nice scalp massage and I did it from roots to tips, didn't miss anything, probably put on a bit more than I should have just, you know, to be on the excessive side. It's, it's just not too oily, it's just, it's just right. So definitely try this. 
Um, it's, it comes, you can get it in loads of different types actually, you can get it in almond oil, you can get it in coconut. I got the traditional which is like a dark green one. Obviously if you've got a lighter hair you might not want to put a green oil on it, just because it might change your hair colour. Um, so then I'd recommend going for like the almond oil one or the coconut oil one which is just, you know, quite a neutral colour and wouldn't affect your own natural hair colour. I use a clarifying shampoo to get all that oil out. And I've been using the Herbal Essences Fresh Balance Clarifying Shampoo. And again, just, it's been great. Can't, nothing to complain about. I totally forgot that I had oiled my hair last night. And when I washed my hair today, I only washed it once rather than twice, which is what I normally do after oiling it or doing a treatment. This was absolutely fine. And even though I only washed the oil out once, I think it's, it's actually just fine. So I would recommend that. But I know there are loads of clarifying shampoos out there, so again, if there are any you would recommend me, please leave a note, leave a comment. I am a massive Frizzies lover, and I've used um, Frizzies hair serum pretty much my entire life. And I have got a few um, of those pumpy ones floating about, but I've actually stopped using them since I discovered Moroccan oil. And I was actually ridiculously late getting on the bandwagon with this one. Heard so much about it, but basically I've been doing... A bathroom project for about three or four months now where I'm not allowing myself to buy anything unless I really need it so yeah um, but yeah loving this Moroccan oil is just amazing makes my hair so much smoother and silkier and a little goes such a long way so I've been using it for probably about a month and I don't know if you can see but I've only used like about this much and it is an expensive product, but I'd say it's worth every. Okay. What I would do normally is I'd come out of the shower, I'd put the Moroccan oil on, and if I'm going curly, I'm going to put on this Frizzy's Curl Reviver Mousse um, onto my damp hair, kind of all over, like a good ball of it, and put that in my wet hair, and then I'd dry it with a diffuser. Dry it with a diffuser. So this is my hair dryer, it's the Umberto Giannini. And I bought this maybe three or four years ago now. Um, and it came with loads of different attachments, but I seem to have misplaced them all apart from this one here, which is handy because it's the only one that I really use. Um, it's, yeah, it's a good hairdryer, I'd say, but I don't know if they do it anymore. I think it was like a special Christmas gift edition or something. So what I do is I literally just do that with it and like dry it on on a medium heat until it's quite dry and then I'll blast it with like a cold as well just to kind of set it and kind of try and undo the heat damage which it's probably already been done but yeah I should probably use a heat protector a bit more when I'm I'm blow drying but I just think it's just blow drying it's not a huge amount of damage but it probably is I don't know otherwise if I'm just blow drying it normally I'll just put in the Moroccan oil and I will just blow dry it just really rough dry it and then that's it I just leave it I don't bother too much with anything else and it kind of settles down over a couple of days and I'd say my second day hair is probably my best day of hair but today I went straight and yeah it's just nice it's nice to have a change really it just felt like it today um, and what I use for that is again my Moroccan oil and then my all-time favorite heat protectant is um, Kerastase Cement Thermique and it's a really nice, amazing product, which I recommend to you all. But basically, because I'm doing this bathroom project, I can't buy another one until I finish all my other heat protectant stuff. So I'm, at the moment, I'm using Soft and Free, which is an anti-breakage thermal styling lotion. And I got this years and years ago, actually. I was doing an internship at She Magazine, and they always used to give us, you know, whatever products that we needed or we wanted to try out and stuff and whatever they got sent so I got a load of products from working at the magazine and I'm basically just going through all of those now. I straighten with GHDs and I just kind of rough straighten, I'm not very specific, I don't really use a comb, I just kind of go over because I don't like it being too straight although it is actually quite straight today um, but yeah I love GHDs and I think they're, they're probably the best straighteners that I've ever used. And then, again, if I'm doing my hair curly, I'll use GHDs as well if I want a nice wave and then just do that kind of movement there. And what I use for that is, 
I'm sure I've used better products than this, but this is what I'm using at the moment because of my bathroom project. And these were all the rage a few years ago. And it's the, I haven't got the sticker on it, but it's the L'Oreal um, Hot Curl, which like Beyonce used to do the adverts for. And I used to use the Hot Straight as well, but I, luckily I've used all of those up. And they're nothing special really, but they do the job and I'm not too much of it left, so potentially I can buy a new um, curling heat protectant spray soon. Um, leave me recommendations, that would be amazing. I've been getting hundreds and hundreds, okay I'm exaggerating, I've been getting a few questions about these hair braids. Um, so you might have seen my um, travelling video where I um, spoke about all my great travels and I had loads of these in at the time actually. I had five done and this is my last one that's in and I'm actually just about to take this out this week because I've had it in for four months and it's really not meant to be in for that long. But it, essentially um, my hair is inside and then the string is wrapped around it in whatever pattern you choose and I can't actually do these myself unfortunately but maybe it's something I might learn. Um, in the future because I think they're kind of cool but you should only really have them in for like two to about a month or two maximum so you can probably see my hair's getting quite matted up here which is not attractive so I'm taking that out and I've been taking them out gradually I just thought I'd keep this one in for this video because a few of you have been asking about them and yeah I really like them but you know time's up on my I've also noticed that my hair ombre is gone because it was just kind of growing out and my hair was quite dry and I just thought it's not ideal right now, so um, just I put um, a botanic semi-permanent um, chocolate kind of colour over the top, I think it's bitter chocolate, and I prefer using a semi because it means I can have the option to put the ombre back in. I put the semi in about three weeks ago and it is kind of lightening up at the ends a little bit now. Thanks so. for watching my video today and I hope you enjoyed it and got loads of random facts about how I do my hair or like what you use I'd love to hear um, hair products are my downfall like I literally love hair products and any suggestions for future videos as well so bye guys